In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the stinger of this honeybee. And for this part of the project, you'll need yarn, stuffing, and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. For the stinger, we'll use the dark colored yarn. And we'll begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up a loop. Chain one to secure your yarn. And then for round one, we're going to do four single crochet into this magic circle. So there's three and four. Now I'm gonna grab that tail, give it a pull. That closes up the hole. I'm gonna place the stitch marker, and at this point, you should have four stitches. For round two, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And to do the increase, you'll go into the stitch, do a single crochet, back into the same stitch for another single crochet. And then we're going to repeat that one more time. So one single crochet, and then one increase. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round three, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have six stitches. For round four, we're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet. followed by one increase. And then we'll repeat that one more time. So two single crochet, one, two, and then one increase. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have eight stitches. For rounds five and six, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. And when you come to the end of round six, you should still have eight stitches. And it's also a good time to go ahead and weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. For round seven, we'll do a repeating sequence of three single crochet followed by one increase. There's two three, increase. And I will repeat that one more time. So one, two, three, increase. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 10 stitches. For rounds eight and nine, we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of round nine, you should still have 10 stitches. For round 10, we'll do a repeating sequence of four single crochet followed by one increase. There's two, three, Four, and then one increase. And now we'll repeat that one more time. So four single crochet. One, two, three, four, and one increase. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 12 stitches. 
For rounds 11 and 12, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round 12, you should still have 12 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round 12. I've removed my stitch marker, and now we're just going to slip stitch into this next stitch and tie off. When you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing. And then go ahead and add a little bit of stuffing into the stinger. Once you have the stinger made, it'll be a time to attach it to the body. So we're gonna flip this guy over. And I'm gonna place it just lined up where the color change is, making sure I'm centered. We're gonna take the yarn needle, go under a stitch in the body, and up through a stitch in the stinger. Under a stitch in the body, through a stitch in the stinger. Making sure to pull nice and tight so it stays in place. And you're just gonna work your way all the way around until you get back to where you started. And here I've worked my way all the way around. I'm back to where I started. So I'm gonna go through one more stitch in the stinger, and then take that yarn needle under a stitch in the body. And before pulling the yarn all the way through, take that yarn needle through the loop and then pull nice and tight. That makes the knot. Now we're gonna hide the tail inside the body. So snip off that excess yarn. And there we go. The stinger is now attached.